Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Last episode, we started a bathroom renovation series, took everything out. Here's the inspiration photo, what we're going for. We're starting with this vanity first. We took out this entire front and we built it. Now we're gonna put it back in right now. My wife says I look like Luke Bryan. That's not the look I'm going for right now, but if you're familiar with the song, One Margarita, a lot of those shots were filmed by me in my past life. So maybe a little bit of inspiration. <laughs> Let's get this in. I mean, we built the whole front and it should fit. I've already done a test fit. It's a little snug. There we go. Look at that. Wow. What do we think? How does it look? <laughs> Couple pilot holes. Let's do one here. One. You know, I made a mistake already. I did not mean to drill these two holes. That ain't good. I meant to do it from the back side. All right, I need to be under here. Screwing in from the back. Don't know how. I was so silly to make that mistake. All right, I feel secure. Ow. Hit my noggin. Here are my knobs. Close up view. Heavy brass. I think they'll look pretty good right there. I'm worried they're a little big. All right, step number one, use my handy dandy marking tool and get the exact spot on the back. Um, here, punch the hole through for the handles. Mark, mark. Drill our hole. Boom. One knob down. There we go. I love it. Now we're moving on to the much more difficult and less fun task, the walls. And the inspiration fitting see, it's like the shiplap vertical. I bought these four by eight sheets. It gives it the same look. We got used that in the kitchen. We're gonna do this entire bathroom. You can see there's lots of angles and cuts to work around. I don't know, which wall should I start with first? Probably just the simple one, this back wall. I don't know if it's gonna fit behind the toilet. Hi, Weston. Tape measure. My boards are four foot wide. This is roughly Wow, one inch shy. 47 and eighth by 94. Here's the panels, $40 a piece. What kind of economy do we live in? Average pay in America is not $40 an hour. So somebody's gonna have to work a whole day just for these sheets. It doesn't make any sense. Anyway, two of them were damaged. I needed five total. When you live in the middle of nowhere, you have one option, my one hardware store. <laughs> they had five total, which is exactly what I needed. Two of them were damaged. They were 20% off, that's what they did. Anyway, so. We need, you remember, 47 and a fourth, 94 and a half. This thing is pretty big. I wanna put it on the saw stop, but this thing's large. I'm gonna have to clear this out. Saw stop is truly incredible. Oh, move these. These are future projects. All right, here's the real test. It just needs to be transported <laughs> over. There we go. It's honestly too big. Change of plans. It is too big and flimsy to do it on the saw stop, especially by myself. So we're just gonna take it out here and I wanna use my circular saw to cut this edge off. I don't have a track saw because then it would make the straight line. So I'm just freehand it. Now it will be covered with trim, so it'll be okay. Here's the real question. I wonder if my new marking tool can just mark it all the way down. Let's try it. I don't know if I'll be able to see the mark. We'll just see how it does. Oh my gosh, look at that. Can you see that? This right here is my new favorite tool. Let me just explain it a little bit better because I love this. I saw in a YouTube video, professionals using it. I'm a professional homeowner. <laughs> it's all metal. You unscrew this and you can move this back and forth. There's a wheel at the top that acts as a knife. It's not sharp, but it leaves just like a small groove in the wood. Sometimes it's hard to see. On this white, I mean, I can see that clean as day. You can make the same mark on all edges of the board. So you don't have to do any measuring. It's all the same. I love this. All right, let's finish this out. Just like that, I have my line. Now I'm just gonna freehand it. <laughs> That's where it's gonna get all messed up. If you want one of these, link down in the description below if you wanna buy one. This is honestly like my least favorite cut, type of cut to do. I'm not very good at it. Look how flimsy this is. Let's scoot this back. 
I know that wasn't straight, but what can you do? Ah! I need an apron. I don't even know if this is going to fit. Oh, I made a fatal calculation. There's no way I'm gonna get that board in here shimmy behind this. I really don't wanna take the toilet out. I'm using my public school educated brain to think hard. I'm thinking if I just take the top tank off, it might slide kind of like this inward. Because I just, just put this toilet in not too long ago. Brand new beeswax seal. I hate dealing with that. So if I can take maybe the tank off, we'll see. Step one, shut off the water. And we'll just flush her down. Hmm, now how do I get the rest of the water out? That's the real question. This is gonna be a little disturbing. Sponge trick. How many flush, how many sponges is it gonna take? That's gonna be a lot. World's smallest, brightest flashlight comes in handy. That worked. Now we got to unbolt the top. Have you hit that like button yet? This is definitely likable, worthy content. Sponging out your toilet water. Also subscribe if you haven't. Well, bolts are out. Will this just pop out? Easy as that. I honestly don't know if this is gonna work. I can't even get it through the door now. That's challenge number one. New plan. Can't get it through the door. I'm gonna have to cut it in half. Now, from the reference photo, there's a piece of trim about halfway or a third of the way up the wall, all the way around. So I'm gonna make the cut and it'll be covered by that piece of trim. Genius, adapt and you will succeed. Sadly, my uh, little marker won't go across the middle. Well, the piece went in much easier. Lift it over the toilet. Boom, right there. Uh, it's resting on the water line, so I know I need to make that cut. Here's the second one. It should definitely fit because now it's a blade length shorter. It's wedged in there. I don't even know if I can get it out. Hey, it works though. It fits. This gap, don't mind. It will get covered by trim. You'll never know the secrets of homeownership. <laughs> Next day, another piece. Let's plop it on here. Goodness. All right, this piece right here is damaged. Written on it, some Lowe's employee, 20% off. Now this piece is gonna go around the window, so I think this chunk is gonna get cut off, so I think it's okay. So I'm gonna cut this one in half as well, because I don't think it'll fit through the door either. It's gonna be another big piece. So 43 inches is what we did last time. <laughs> this piece is gonna go right here, as you can see. This is in the way. So I got this, the contour tool. Boink, boink, boink. You can contour the trim and I'm gonna trace it on here. Hopefully I do a good job. Take it and then you just slide it up against it, right? I'm gonna press against these to make sure it's all, and then I'm gonna lock it. There, now it's locked. Okay, this is the scary part. I really hope I'm doing this correctly. I'm pretty sure it goes something like this. There we go. Seems to be a little off. I'm gonna use my chisels and see if I can just make it more squared up. Nice. Moment of truth. Did I make the right cuts? Wow, no, I did not. Is that not? Okay, I'm a little off. I messed up a little bit. It's not far enough this way. Of course. <laughs> Whoa, almost lost it. Oh no, 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 I don't think I can do this by myself. Probably not accurate at all. Oh my gosh, I'm out of breath. Something died on me in this moment. 
and that is my microphone. So this is me explaining that I messed up that piece I'm pointing to severely, so I'm moving on to the piece by this pocket door. I almost gave up, so I had to move on. I have no idea what I was saying in this moment. I'm just shoving the door in and out and moving the wall, and I think I'm going to be nailing in some pieces right after this. Yep, here it is, and these nails are too long. They go through the pocket door. So this shot, I'm clipping off the excess nails so they don't scratch the pocket door. What a mess I've gotten myself into. Here's me showing you the side and how trim and flush it is, um, and that's about it. Over here, I am showing you my next plans for the piece, and there are two things I have to remove on this wall. Here, my brain quit working, and I stand and frozen. Sometimes Savannah gets worried when I do this. I take this heater thermostat off. It looks like it's literally from the 70s, probably is, but it had to come off for the panel. And now I'm taking this really heavy panel that cost $40, if you remember, and slamming it down on my sawhorses, probably damaging it in many ways that I can't fathom. It has to be this side, so the little board piece matches on the one that's already up there. 34 and 7 eighths. There, pretty close. Okay. <laughs> It'll all come together in the end. So right now my faith is minimal. Is my battery dead? That was bad. Oh, I'm worried. <laughs> Guys, I will just say, if you're having a bad day today, so am I, you're not alone. Things just, just seems like sometimes things just don't work out. Not perfect. This is a big mess up. That's way off. Not good. My mic quit working again. I really need to invest in a new one. Please subscribe. Anyway, I finally got the piece on. The hole for the socket over there is a little bit bigger than I want, but it's on. We're moving on to this piece right here. So this piece is just gonna kind of cover this little patch. Gotta do this thing again for that. I guess like that. After about an hour and a half, I finally got this one done. I'm not good at this is what I'm saying. So I'm not really showing what I'm doing because I mess up. This would be a four hour long video. This is me, Mike not working once again, telling you that we're going to fast forward to where we're going to get all the pieces on and I'll show you the final result. It's the next day. We finally got all the pieces up in here. The big reveal. The Lord was testing me during this process. I am not good at this. These pieces are big and awkward. I was sinning a bunch in my mind. Lord, forgive me. But we got this part done. Now I know it looks pretty messed up still. You gotta see the vision. You gotta wait till the end. We also got my light hung. Um, I just did that to make sure it all fits and that's our only light source in here. So I'm gonna be doing the trim and painting and I need a light source. So we got that up. It looks really cool. Guys, this was tough. Getting this piece behind this uh, faucet right here is was pretty difficult. I'm gonna have to replace that faucet and the w pipes underneath. They were copper, they're extremely corroded. I couldn't even turn the water off. So that's gonna be another thing. Remodeling, just piles on top, problem after problem, but I'm glad this big task is done. One thing I do wanna show you is my molding job. Look at that, that's pretty good. Now Savannah reminded me I could have taken this crown molding off and then just put it back on top, but that was after I already did it. <laughs> so I did it way harder than what you're supposed to do. If you feel like the Lord is testing you, just know it's perseverance, that it just grows you spiritually. So take that, remember that, keep me and my family in your prayers. That's the end of this episode. The next episode, hopefully we get a lot more of this bathroom done and I'll see you then.